Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. We're going to check out the magnetic pigments. So the last video I did, I showed you using them crazy little stampy sticks. Um, and I couldn't get them to work with the crap except with pigment powder. And the pigment powder I grabbed, not realizing that I actually had magnetic pigment powder, uh, we're gonna test that out because everybody wanted to see how to make the magnetic pigment powder to work. Okay, that's, I said it correctly twice, so don't expect any more from me. And everyone will be happy to know that my husband is back to work for at least a week. So he'll have a couple more weeks, at least, on this earth because, um, yeah, if I get a week off, I think I can deal with another week with him home. We'll see. We'll see. It's Thanksgiving next week, so, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But he's safe for now. Okay, so let's first see what these look like just over black as a pigment powder. Black from Madame Glam. Absolutely gel is the easiest way to go. For me, if you use a regular polish, put your black on let it dry till it's just mm, it's such a tricky thing to say how long to let it dry you need to be able to touch it and not smudge it but it needs to be wet enough to still be tacky and when you're using gel you just put the color on in a no wipe top coat and that's it you don't have to worry about where it is all right so let's check these out first just as they are not as a magnetic. This is a pigment powder. And that one is a very pretty teal purple shift. All right, here's the next color. It is more a teal and a blue. Sorry, my window's open, so you're going to hear traffic going by. Mm, kind of a blue-green teal. I don't know. It's beautiful. All right. You need to make sure that your polish has no dust particles or anything on it, because if it does, you're going to see it when you top coat. And this is the hmm, kind of um, gold burgundy. These are dual chromes, so they're going to shift a couple colors. And yeah, you can absolutely use, if you have a dual chrome eyeshadow, you can absolutely use that as pigment powder. And you see, this is kind of a blue to green gold shift. Mm, I mean, I see it really well, but I don't know. Never know how it's going to look on the camera. But there are the three of those. Beautiful colors, all shift to shifty. You can see the different colors. Now we're going to mix it with a little bit of gel base coat. Again, regular polish, I just don't know. I don't know if it will work, and I don't think we're gonna get into that today. If that's something that everybody wants to see, I guess I will try it with um, a regular polish. Ugh, I, hate to, I, I hate the thought, I hate the thought, but we'll do it, I will do it. If that's what you really want, let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna put Three little globs, just we don't need much because we're just going to be doing one nail. So we're not going to, just a little teeny tiny bit. And then I got one of these, you could use a toothpick, but I've got one of these little things. So we're going to start with the purple one and we're going to mix just a little bit and then I'm going to put the lid back on these because I, once I get a magnet out, it's, um, these powders would just like 
come across the table into the magnet. So we're just going to mix a little bit of each. And then immediately put the lid back on because one, the cat is running around here. Two, I'll show you what happens. A magnet, <laughs> it immediately will just go straight to that magnet. And uh, that happens. And I did that not thinking about it the first round and it was stuck to my magnet. I just stuck it to the top with it open and uh yeah. It it wasn't it wasn't a fun time. And there's the green blue and then the last color. Um anytime I use something like this in a video check down below in the description box. If I can link it, I will. I bought these off Amazon years ago. So I will go look and see if I can find them again or a close proximity at least. And they will be linked in the description box, okay? Uh, here is the package they came in. If you wanna screenshot that and or scan it with your phone real quick. Pause and scan. I think I'll have a link below. I put another little glob of base coat over here on the edge to clean my brush in. And I do have some alcohol too because mm, I have problems with brushes get really stiff with if I use just gel and leave them, leave it with gel. So I always clean it with a little alcohol too to soften up my brush. All right, let's start over here with this purple. I know these tips are not glued on very good. The little sticky tabs have been used way too many times. Oh, that was just the perfect amount mixed up there. Magnet, I'm just going to use this big round one. Any magnet you've got. I lost my Madame Glim. I had to order another one. I don't know what happened to it. I think the cat maybe rolled it off or drug it around. I don't know. It's probably on the floor underneath something in here. But here we have... Oh, see? See? There's some dust particles on there. But that is beautiful. Works really well. Just a straight up cat eye. Right now the blue green Ooh, I don't know. I almost probably didn't mix up enough of that. Put a little clear on there, base coat and see if I can get enough to color cover that nail. The red and peaks. The pink, red color, gold. I 
And I mean, you can mess around with your amount of pigment that you're using. Did I use the right amount? I don't know. Oh, that one's so pretty. I've got those in to cure. But for your regular polish girlies, I just got my order from uh, Parrot Polish. I ordered some regular polish. He has some new magnetics in. Uh, and this one is Chartreux Cat, I think. Chartreux Cat? They're kitty cat. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. Silvery one. And then he sent, I don't know, I think I, that's the one I ordered. And then he sent me um, Siberian Cat. But I don't remember. I don't remember which one I ordered. I think I ordered the, the black silver one. And then this one is a dual chrome. You can already see it's a dual chrome, kind of like that one. So, ooh, look at this. Ooh, that's a, is that a duo or a tri? That is beautiful. That has some green in it too. Can you see that? Oh, the camera, the camera. I don't know if it's if it's showing. Yeah, there you can see. Oh, that is beautiful, David. So if you don't know David from Parrot Polish and his wife Sanja, they make um, the most beautiful polishes and Sanja makes some soaps and you always get a fun little heart shaped soap in every order. All right, and I also got uh, Costa Rica Dreams. It's a thermal. And I'm not sure, but I believe it's this, this dark color is cold, of course, but I believe it turns like um, a teal um, blue kind of color when it's warm. So I'm looking forward to using all of these and mm, get, getting a closer look at those in another video. I will do a video dedicated just to parrot polishes. And I ordered some um, Feather Dust, some quick dry top coat from him because I don't think I've ever tried it and I'm in the hunt for some new top coat. So that'll be fun. All right, here are the three polishes, the pigments, I'm sorry, the three magnetic pigments. And I will link those below. And I think there's always a link to David's parrot polish. I think there's always a link to, to him down below because David and his wife are such sweet people. And I love supporting a small business. Um, yeah, I didn't cure that quite good enough there, but you know, they're tips, I don't care. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I don't know, I just think it's easier, there's less guesswork if you just buy <laughs> polishes in the colors you want. Oh my gosh, cat. Here's what I've got on me right now. Pretty kitty. Trying to jump off on my table, in front of me, on everything. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks, you guys. Bye. All right, I tried to put the Christmas tree up. Uh, I can't put anything breakable on it. He would not stay out of the tree, even spraying him with vinegar. He didn't like it, but at first it worked, and now it doesn't. So I bought a tube for him to run around in underneath the tree. It has helped immensely. I'm going to try to decorate the tree, but I'm not putting anything breakable on it. Because Spaz here won't leave it alone. Even in his tube, the little hole, he's always jumping out and trying to get the little limb there. So...
I don't think my tree will be great this year. And presents, I, I don't even want to think about it.